Hey guys, Trav here. Justin Trudeau has spoken out. Uh, it sounds like uh, his kids have COVID and now he has tested positive for COVID. Um, I wanted to highlight this question that was asked to him from a uh, caller. Thank you. Merci. The next question is from Tom Perry from CBC News. Tom Perry Please, from ahead. CBC. Yeah. Hi, Prime Minister. Thanks for taking our questions. Um, supporters of this movement will say that it's a, a small minority of people in this protest who are causing trouble. So is it fair to focus in on the obviously terrible behavior of some and paint all protesters with that brush? I think... Obviously, the, the right to free expression, the right to assembly, the right to uh, make your displeasure known in a democracy is extraordinarily important. And now, that point by Trudeau, I'm sure everyone agrees with that, right? Okay, let's see what else he has to say. It needs to be heeded and respected. But there have been many, many protests over, uh, over the past years that I've seen. Uh, that I've been uh, uh, part of, that I've uh, watched from a distance on Parliament Hill and elsewhere, where people come together angry about a certain thing, wanting something else to change, that don't see the level of hateful rhetoric, of swastikas, of abuse towards their fellow citizens. There is always a right to protest peacefully, that I and others will defend fully as part of this democracy. There is not a right to incite violence, to perform acts of violence, or to spew hatred. And I think anyone who is part of this group who is disgusted by what, uh, what the folks protesting alongside are doing needs to step up and take responsibility, condemn these actions, and look for other ways to express their displeasure. So he wants, uh, you know, condemnation from people who are involved in these, um, in these demonstrations who, who don't approve of these kind of things. Um, the, uh, my brother sent me a very nice video of people, the, the people who actually took down um, the flag and sign that was placed on the Terry Fox statue, which I thought was great. And and this that, that kind of stuff needs to be amplified. You know, you can't just anecdotally uh, pick out, you know, hateful shit that you see going on. Um and uh and promote that and and not and not also uh promote where you know other people who are involved in the demonstration are coming forward to uh speak out against it or 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 take this stuff down um of course if if justin trudeau would take a look on social media there are many people many canadians who are commenting and saying um you know i i support the truckers and and they say that, but they do not support, you know, what what they're calling a defacement uh, of, um, of the Terry Fox statue. I wouldn't really call it, uh, you know, that that ter the the statue was defaced. Um, but uh, yeah, it's being you know using the image of Terry Fox for some kind of, uh, you know, uh, you know, some ideological. Um, uh, using using the statue for some kind of ideological gain, trying to trying to convince people through this kind of imagery or bring attention to your cause, yeah, I I I don't think you should be doing that. Um, Trudeau goes on to talk about like these other, you know, groups that g get together and you know, like like l let's look at Black Lives Matter. I mean, it wasn't hard for me to find. This article by CBC, believe it or not, police charged three people after Black Lives Matter protesters splatter paint on statues in Toronto. Black Lives Matter Toronto claims credit for the defacing and calls on city to defund police. That's retarded. 
Um, so yeah, you're splattering paint all, uh, over stuff. Uh, and you know, Black Lives Matter has a reputation of not speaking out uh, against uh, violent acts that are happening in the street, uh, destruction of public uh, property or private property, uh, assault on citizens. And, you know, the, he, uh, I, I, I will be interested to see if there are any arrests or any, um, you know, any violence or, or rioting or any anything like that related to uh, this trucker convoy. So far, it seems to be quite peaceful. We had the, um, you know, these uh, idiots who created this, you know, depiction of Justin Trudeau and had it had him hanging from a noose yeah that stuff needs to be you know the other other people in support of this i agree with justin trudeau on this that they they should be stepping up and being like those people are fools and a lot of them are on social media you know continue doing that protesters out there when you see someone doing something radical like that be loud and proud about saying we don't support that it, it's it's good for your overall message i think you know, you don't want to be thrown in the, you don't want to be lumped in with radical extremists, right? Like BLM or Antifa. Yeah, these are, those are radical extremist groups. Um, so, yeah, is that, uh, is that the end of Justin's message here? Following up? Yeah, it looks like that was, that was his, uh, his entire answer. So look, people, people are getting charged in Canada, um, in other demonstrations, uh, Black Lives Matter demonstrations. What else we got here? Uh, that, yeah, and that was in, in Toronto. And Justin Trudeau has attended these Black Lives Matter uh, demonstrations. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he, didn't, he didn't bring that up. You know, if I was, if I was prime minister here I, uh, and I was asked that same question, I would have been like, look, it seems as though the peop it's a very small minority of people within this uh trucker convoy or or within this uh you know um general protest group that um are doing some of this shit that not everyone else wants to see you know and then and, and i would say i i took a look around and it's and it seems like a lot of people are speaking out against this and i've seen some video of people saying that's not us it's like, yeah, continue to spread that message. And, you know, I support your right as Canadians to be out there uh, protesting for what you believe in, so long as you keep it peaceful. Um, you know, I would I would be sending that message. You don't have to you, you don't have to further ostracize or, um, you know, uh, belittle the quests of people uh, because you disagree um, there's a way for uh, Justin Trudeau to, you know, even politically to to score more points here, to not look like such a like, you know, um, so negatively at these people voicing their concerns. Look, and I and you know I agree with Trudeau. You know, these people should just go get uh, go get vaccinated, get boosted, get on the road, get back to work. Um, but uh, yeah, of course, um, you know there are there are you know many people that disagree with me on that. But you don't have to, uh, you know, throw shade at them or or and and when you're making a comparison um, to other protests that have happened in Canada, I mean, um, you know, you, you might want to think about citing some issues you've had in Canada with uh, Black Lives Matter uh, demonstrations if you're going to because he brought BLM up in this um, in this entire video uh, if you want to see if you just search on YouTube you'll find Justin Trudeau's full uh, um, full speech and Q&A session with the media um, but yeah let me know what you guys think about what's going on what do you think about Justin Trudeau's answer to this question um, yeah, this has been quite a uh, hot topic up here in Canada. So uh, I've I, and I've I have to say I've really appreciated everyone uh, weighing in and giving their thoughts. Um, but this is what you know. Pangburn is a centrist, a true centrist platform. You know, I have no uh, vision of promoting any kind of. 
political party or, or ideology. I want to promote skepticism. Skepticism is uh, questioning and continuing to question anything, not everything, because you'll go mad if you try to do that. There is no time. You do not have the energy to question everything. You will go insane. Anything, though, anything that comes up, including your emotional knee-jerk reactions to seeing this man's face. If you feel hate when you see the face of Justin Trudeau, uh, that's something you should sort out philosophically and morally. Why, why is hate uh, governing you emotionally? Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Join us on Discord. You'll find the Discord uh, server link in the description of this video. On Discord, we um, we get together and have voice chats, debates uh, about different topics relating to philosophy, science, art, life. You name it, we're talking about it on Discord. Join our Discord server. It's uh, free. Ev anyone can join. Um, uh, one more thing, the Celebration of Science and Reason Tour is now on sale. So please go to pang-burn.com forward slash tickets. You will see the description for the tour thus far. Uh, it is being led by physicists Lawrence Krauss and Sabine Hossenfelder, uh, who I'm very excited to be working with. I've worked with Lawrence before. I haven't uh, worked with Sabine yet, but she's got an amazing um, physics communication channel and math. Um, and Arvin Ash, who's got another amazing YouTube channel in the realm of physics and engineering, will be uh, joining Sabine and Krauss in um, Vancouver this April. So go to again, go to pang-burn.com forward slash tickets for more information. But yeah, let me know uh, what you think thus far about the trucker convoy and what Justin Trudeau had to say here. And uh, yeah, let's get at it.